G'day and welcome to a new video. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking a little bit about how the lawn is going after the fungal disease, a bit of autumn lawn care, plans for getting it into winter, nice and healthy. But geez, for starters, how good is it to finally have this garden bed planted out? I know for you guys, you probably don't really care as much, but it will definitely make for nicer viewing in future videos. A lawn absolutely looks a hundred times nicer when there's a nice garden around it for sure. When we moved in, there was some trees along this garden bed, um, but we had some really extreme weather, heaps and heaps of rain. It was crazy wet. Um, so I didn't want to go too over the top with planting out this garden bed. The amount that this garden bed would flood with those lots of rain um, was a concern, but you know, obviously probably the best way to have gone about fixing this up would have been to dig down four meters, bring in new soil, put in drainage, blah, blah, blah. In the end, what I did here with this really heavy clay soil um, was I dug out the top layer, I removed all the mulch, I put it out the back gate, I dug out the top layer of nice soil, then I dug down and took out about a wheelbarrow worth, a gorilla cart worth of clay. I've now stored that over behind the cubby house to use as backfill for my veggie garden. And then I brought in, I put in some gypsum, I brought in some new composted soil, some really healthy, nice soil. Then I have planted out my lily pillies and my corias, some really nice Aussie natives, spread some more gypsum throughout the garden bed, put out some sea salt pellets and some soil wetter pellets. Um, and yeah, been getting a nice little bit of rain the last few days, been keeping the water on it. And yeah, it's just so nice. So nice to finally have this filled in. For some reason on social media, people keep commenting on the fence. I just don't understand why. Like I think the peeling paint is, you know, it's a bit of a bit of a vibe as they would say. You know, that looks nice and you know the, the cracks in the fence that you can see through to the other side, the little bits where palings have been patched up. I think this is a I think it's a really nice fence. I I don't know, I can't understand why people are commenting on it about painting it and stuff. Like yeah. But anyway, the lawn. So you can see over there the weed mat that I've started putting out on the kids' playground area as well, which is really good to be finally getting that going. Gonna have the play mulch that I'll bring in soon, the garden edging, same steel garden edging that was already here when we moved in, is what I'll put in over there as well. So really looking forward to that and getting that moving along and just slowly, slowly ticking off projects. But anyway, the, the lawn, far out. Look at the color of this. It's just really, really bouncing back so nicely from that fungal disease. So in the end, um, I think it's, Four weeks ago and two weeks ago were my two applications of the fungicide. And yeah, just the color of it. Um, it's been looking really, really nice. It's filling in nicely and coming out into autumn. I'm really glad that I've got on top of it quickly. I applied those products and it's looking really, really nice. Getting a little bit of seed head out here. You know, that's fine. I'm not too bothered about that. But yeah, as a whole, just um, looking forward to Keep working out here, burning in some really nice patterns. You'll be able to see a little bit here that I've got a bit of a curvy pattern going on at the moment. So I'm gonna mow before I edge today. Um, something that Ben Sims has talked about in a few of his videos is how he likes to edge first, because especially on your garden edging and things like that, you sort of can see what height you need to go at because you've, you've mowed first. So I'm gonna do that today. Um, and I'm gonna burn in this little pattern a bit more and then talk to you a bit more about uh, autumn lawn care it's the first week of autumn here. Um, and yeah, autumn lawn care, what I'm doing and how I'm gonna keep this lawn nice and green throughout the cooler months, throughout the winter months when it stops growing um, and hopefully hold on to this nice color as long as I can. So let's get into a trim.
Now something I cannot say enough about mowing a curved pattern like this is just how difficult it is. Honestly does take a lot of concentration um, and there's times where with a cylinder mower you're trying to follow the light stripes, you're walking down the light coloured stripes and sometimes your eyes will just start to play tricks on you and that sort of thing, especially if it's grown through a little bit more and it can just be hard to see. So anyway, um, some of these stripes are definitely not the same thickness the whole way along. Some of them get wide and then skinny and so it's a whole balancing act. Um, to try and get them right. Uh, the second time I did this pattern, I definitely got a bit up, upset, a bit frustrated, um, just with trying to, to get it all lined up. Um, I'm only slightly ashamed to admit the fact that I brought out a tape measure, um, lined it up across, and I marked a few spots um, in the center for my first one um, to try and get me on track and at least get the first one good. But yeah, down this end, these ones are a lot straighter. Down there, the curves are definitely not in line with the, those middle ones there. But anyway, if you are going to um, do something like this, I highly encourage you wait until your lawn has grown through a little bit, especially in that first mow. Makes it easier to tell what you're doing. Now out here, we've obviously recovered from the fungal disease. I talked about that just before. I apply the Lawn Tips Spring Mix um, a week ago. Um, and that is bringing through some really nice colour. I was hoping to put out some liquid iron this week, but we're going away this weekend um, and it's really windy. We've had really windy conditions for like three weeks or so. It's been really hard and I've had to really pick my times when I've sprayed products recently. So anyway, I'll get that out next week, hopefully. Try and get a bit of a green up out here with the liquid iron. Um, and something I really, really want to focus on and I'm going to do this winter is I'm going to apply the same amount of fertilizer, but more frequently. Um, so sort of like half the amount, but every three weeks or something like that, instead of a full amount every five or six weeks. Um, really looking forward to trialing that, seeing how it works, um, giving the lawn more nutrition, more regularly, um, to hopefully keep it healthy, keep it green as long as possible. Um, it was hard on my old lawn last winter um, because, you know, we bought this house I didn't want to spend too much money on products and that sort of thing at the old house so I was you know kind of hesitant to, to use too much on it and look after it too much um, so yeah definitely obviously this winter this back lawn is staying quite to you um, not doing any projects on it like I am at the front which you'll hear more about soon uh, and see on Instagram and TikTok soon but yeah overall really happy with how it is um, Really excited to be using those products a bit more frequently. I'm going to be putting out some pre-emergent soon as well, which is going to keep the, the winter weeds from growing. So hopefully a weed-free green lawn um, that I'll be able to keep out here over the next six months until it's time to um, for the spring renovation again. But um, yeah, anyway, I'm going to finish off today by five weeks after I did the renovation, which was the previous video on the. Um, the test little area down there. Um, finish off with a mow down there. So yeah, five weeks since I did that. So we'll give that a little cut. Um, and yeah, look forward to, I don't know, how to finish this video. I don't know. Like, subscribe, blah, blah, blah. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.